Hello, good day from Sudhanshu. In this video, I will showcase how you can use a conversation and search AI from Google. Let me show you what it means. First of all, you can go to the it.nandavarth.in website. I am mentioning this URL in the description for you to experience what is search AI and Google, Google's conversation AI with generative AI do it AI feature. So from here, we will experience search or oh, conversation AI. You can type in something like what is the price of G Suite? This is one of the products from Google that is Google Workspace. So the pricing gets to display. And if you want to know what is your location, what you are seeing now is known as conversation AI. It lets you can have a conversation with your data source. Data source can be a website, PDF document, etc. Now I will show you how search works. Now I have integrated this generative AI search feature on my website. This shows results only within the websites that I have given the authority to. Let's say website price. So here only my website search engine results are shown. Okay. This is how the website works. This is what this was the introduction. Now I will showcase how to enable this search AI and conversation AI on your website for your purpose or for your client. The first prerequisite is you go to cloud.google. Sorry, you first need to go to google.com forward slash webmaster. I am again mentioning this URL in the description. Once you go to the webmaster, you would have to link your website. It is important first mandatory step is to have a website where you will integrate conversation and search AI. So first have a website and then integrate with your website with this webmaster page. Go into the search console. Here you would have to integrate your website by adding the property. Once you add the property successfully, then you would have to go to the URL known as console.cloud.google.com. I'm again mentioning this URL within the description. From here, you would have to go to the left hand side, top right menu bar and scroll down. Once you scroll down, you would find more product option. Once you scroll down further, you would find an option which is search and conversation AI. Here it is under the artificial intelligence category. From there on, you can create a Gen AI app code which is popularly known as generative AI app code previously known as now it is the same tab has been renamed as search and conversation. So let's start creating a new app. This new app will generally give you the code which you can integrate within your website. Okay. So what type of code you want? You want to have the search engine or you want to have the chat source. Let's create the chat source, which is the conversation AI. Let's give it a name testing for YouTube viewers. Okay. Let's give it an agent name. Agent name is something that will be visible over the tab of the conversation AI. Like I have given previously Sudhanshu. So here will be the agent name. Once we do that, we need to click on continue. We need to create a new data source because initially I have set up this data source. So I am able to see previous data sources, but because you would be doing it for the first time, you would have to create on the create new data source and create a data source. Now you can give various, you have various options with yourself. That is, you can enable a website as a data source from where the conversation will happen to the data source, or you can have it on the GCP bucket. For now, I will click and select the website as the source. Let me include the website. Some The website again has to be something that has been approved in the search.google.com console. So my it.nandavarth.in website is approved. So I will mention it over here. That is it.nandavarth.in. Okay. Sites to exclude would be empty. And then I would give my Dota source a name. Let's say testing for YouTube viewers. Okay, click on create. It takes a little while to create the data source. 
okay once the data source is uh, provisioned you would then have to look for the particular data source that you want to select let's have this one as the data source click on create okay now that the data source is successfully created and the app is also provisioned you can click on the website oh sorry the app the application that we have made now what we are doing is we are going to have the code which we can integrate within our website so we will have to generate the code let's see how we can do that options have changed from the previous interface let's go to the preview section on the left hand side panel okay under the preview you would reach something known as dialog flow box okay so here from here we can click on the publish section and have the either anonymous or required access token as the source of approving the website let these be defaults as per your choice you can enable the unauthenticated pop api or click on done these are the two types of conversation options ui style so i will select this one as of now click on done okay still not getting the code let me figure it out let's click on manage mm. again let's go to the publishing code from draft select the draft from here we can restrict the domain but we do not want to restrict the domain let's click enable unauthenticated api okay and here we have it the javascript code along with the html code has been provided what you need to do is just copy all of this from by clicking over here and then click on done and you are good to go let's say this is the website where you want to integrate index.html remember that we have only approved the website which is nandavarth.it.nandavarth.in and we are going to our website which is supposedly index.html I am trying to figure out where the page is gone. Okay, let's say this is the not this one. Where is index dot html on the screen? Index. Yeah, here it is. Index dot html. so we will right click on it and put the code that we have copied from the source that is this page publish copy and paste it on this page there must be another index okay for this for this tutorial i will create a new folder testing and place the code over here just a moment yeah you can simply paste it in its present form double click it and there you have it the search box it takes a little file for the source to configure and it also takes little file little time to validate the source so once the source has been verified then this will work seamlessly 
and it has to be put under the domain name which is approved that is it.nandavart.in only then it will work have a good day bye bye